Okay. Well, um, this is um, two months on with my little bit more than two months, maybe somewhere around two months with Manjaro running on a netbook and it's worked out fairly well so far. I've had a few problems. Uh, Midori, the browser, tended to crash too much, so I just had to remove Midori. I use Chromium, or I use Chrome really, but on a 32 bit, you can't get Chrome, you can only get Chromium. And I have Firefox in case I need to use Flash, although on this netbook, I don't know if it would make much difference if it was Windows or some other operating system either. The Flash player tends to be very choppy and doesn't um, work so well. It could be because it's Linux. And I am using, um, what's it called? Pipe Light, I believe it's called. So I have a newer uh, sort of Flash player. Nonetheless, um, it does that. The only other thing I would say about uh, Manjaro is, um, well, the main reason that I don't use it on my desktop computer is because the printer was too hard to set up. With Debian and, um, and Ubuntu and Linux Mint and, and even in Fedora, the printer was very easy to set up. You just get the plug in and then it would work. I got the plug in, but nothing. I, I tried various things for, for quite a long time and nothing seemed to work. So, being that a netbook doesn't need a printer, that's not so much, in my case at least, I don't need to have a printer on my netbook, that's not so much of a concern. All right, well, oh, and the other thing is Free Tux TV, the uh, sound was, um, when you start it up, the sound is off. And it took me a while to figure out that it was as simple as, um, clicking the uh, on mute <laughs> of the VLC player in the sound sort of the pulse audio control sound settings um, it didn't always did it just did it a couple times it did it today and I think it did it one other time before but um, that's just another minor thing um, all right well yes